Good morning, and thank you for tuning in to your daily operations weather brief for Wednesday, December 12th. Seeing some upper level cloudiness creeping to the area today and some uh, continued chilly temperatures. Then we're going to see a slow return to some more mild seasonable temperatures as we go th through the next uh, couple of days here. Taking a look at our satellite and radar loop this morning, just seeing some uh, northwesterly winds start to slowly pick up. We do anticipate those winds to increase to around 7 to 12 knots as we go towards late morning hours possibly slightly higher as we go towards the early afternoon, then becoming light and variable tonight. We'll see uh, some upper-level cloudiness uh, slowly stream in today, and then some uh, mid-level clouds later this afternoon, and uh, mainly remaining at that uh, mid-end upper level, only seeing those upper-level cirrus right now um, as of 8 a.m. Taking a look at our surface analysis across the area, we do still see high pressure and control. We'll continue to see that for the next uh, couple days. Then we're going to be seeing... A uh, storm system start to move up the coast as we go towards Saturday. That'll bring us um, a wet uh, Friday evening and Friday night and into a Saturday morning, also giving us some more mild temperatures. But uh, for now, going to be raining dry throughout the rest of the work week until we get to late Friday evening. As of 8 a.m., we are seeing a few clouds near 20,000 feet. Broken cirrus deck at 25,000 feet. Winds are from as in the 300 at 5 knots with a temperature of 38 degrees. Taking a look at our weather chart for this morning, seeing those uh, temperatures increase to around 46 degrees this afternoon. Then uh, we're going to see a little bit more of a mild low tonight, only getting down to around 35 degrees. And then taking a look at our winds, those winds are going to be uh, northwesterly this morning, around 7 to 12 knots as we get towards the midday hour. And then as we go towards the afternoon, those winds are going to shift more southwesterly, becoming 3 to 8 knots in the uh, by the end of the workday. And then we're going to see those winds shift or become light and variable for the overnight hours, then becoming southerly at 3 to 8 knots early tomorrow morning, increasing to 5 to 10 knots by the mid to late morning hours. Taking a look at our terminal forecast, going to just be seeing that upper level cirrus deck mainly throughout the day today. As we go towards the afternoon hours, we're going to be seeing uh, some mid level clouds near 15,000 feet creeping into the area. And then by this evening, seeing some clouds between uh, 7,500 and 10,000 feet move in, as well as scattered, broken. Scattered to broken mid-level decks uh, between 15 and 18,000 feet. Continued uh, cirrus deck near 25,000 feet. Tonight, going to be seeing uh, that continue, and then after we get a, after about 2 a.m., might see a few clouds near 2,500 feet. That uh, deck near uh, 7,000 feet is going to be slowly lowering throughout the pre-dawn hours, gonna, and then becoming a broken at 6,500 feet near. Uh, 4 a.m. Thursday, and then by 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, going to be seeing a few clouds at 2,500 feet with an overcast deck at 5,500 feet. Seeing those tides out there slightly above normal this morning. For tomorrow, we're going to be looking at most of the clouded overcast skies. We are going to be seeing a seasonable high of 51 tomorrow. Then Thursday night, continued mostly cloudy. It is going to be mild as we have those. We're going to have those winds shift uh, southeasterly. That'll help bump up our low temperatures to a uh, low of 41. Then Friday, going to be seeing the south to southeasterly flow continue across the region that will help to increase temperatures seeing a uh, high of 58 degrees running around 5 to 10 degrees above normal for this time of year. We'll see those uh, skies partly cloudy in the morning then we'll see those clouds increase throughout the day becoming uh, mostly cloudy to perhaps overcast by the end of the day Friday and we're also going to be seeing a chance of an isolated shower moving to the area near sunset with the best chance of rain happening Friday night. That'll do it for your daily operations weather brief. We'll be back at 10 a.m. for your full weather briefing and extended outlook. Have a great day.